Hello YouTubers, this is Pogadigit. I'm back for more anime figure previews. So, today what I'm going to be previewing you all is no other than uh, Sailor Moon, well, one, of course, uh, Sailor Mercury. She is actually one of my uh, most favorite Sailor Scouts, and to be honest with you, I actually uh, also like the film uh, Sailor Moon, like one of those uh, girl uh, girl anime films besides uh, Kari Kari Sakura, Ojo Macho, Doraemi, but also Sailor Moon, and it's celebrating its uh, 20th anniversary, and so many of you should uh, already know that uh, Sailor Moon has already been released and many people has already bought in Sailor Moon but apparently I didn't buy her because well just to be honest I'm not really a huge fan of Sailor Moon but I'm more of a fan of uh, Sailor Mercury which is right here and I bought her today and it costs like almost uh, 300 Hong Kong dollars and this is originally from uh, Japan there was actually one is from a Hong Kong version, but I didn't like it because it looks so fake. So I prefer the Japanese version way better. So you can see from the below left corner, celebrating its 20th anniversary, the logo there. And it's from a Bandai. And this is the CH uh, Figure Arts. Uh, so it's no other than Pretty Guardian Sailor Mercury, which is the word down there in English and Japanese. Left side is her pose. The right side is also her English name. A view is just her, well, pose again, names, and varieties of her poses, face, and her rest of her accessories, and some warranties from the below of the box. So, no further ado, I will open this box right now. So, here is uh, Sarah Mercury, and before I go for you know her articulations, I like to talk about her designs, and I really like uh, designs, and especially this is actually my first figure that is from Bandai. So, you know, do bear with me this because I have a lot of Figma figures besides like not only well only fig only Figma but not Bandai. So this is all my first uh, Bandai figures. But what I heard from actor, he said that well, there's a lot of figures he has, but then he knows a lot. And you can say that, just look at her, she's really nice and I really like the, the way they, they did it. It's similar to the, the Figma, how they they on, uh, they also, you know, they do all the details like the color, the, you know, texture of the figure. Even the skin tones is nice and especially the jewel up here, which is between the, you know, her ribbon, the circle ones here and her skirt, her boots, the gloves that's around here. Even her uh, ribbon at the back here, it's really fabulous, I really love it. And then even her uh, tiara which is up here, you know, on her forehead, it's really nice and I love the blue, the whole color of the blue texture from her. Especially her eyes, no complaints at all, it's fabulous, I love it. Even her around her neck as well, whoops. And then even her back and then all of those details that's from the anime really impressed me a lot so no complaints about it so let's go for her articulations so her articulations for her head can go side to side up and down so swirly just a little and then her arms can go up and down side to side shrivel up and down like this way and then her arms can go this far and her hands can rotate 360 put that down and for her legs can go this far and this far and not to mention that even her legs right here her upper hip there's you can actually pull like like to do more poses which is actually good and the skirt here is you know like like rubbery so it's good that if you want to do variety uh, poses like for her doing the bending or you know that kind of movement that you want for your figure to do some uh, fabulous uh, actions it's really good that Bandai did that because I heard some uh, ban uh, some of the Bandai products especially the figures they don't provide that but I'm glad this time they do and now go for the boots which is here the foot area can Swivel side to side, uh, up and down, and rotate at least this much. So there's no complaint, I really love it so much. 
And now let's go for her accessories that uh, that they provided for her Sailor Mercury. So you can see here is her mini uh, computer or laptop. I can't remember because it was a really long time I've watched it. So do apologize. So the one is like an open one and one is like a closed one which is good. Nice one for her, you know, to make her poses. And another that is for her to wear the, the glasses. You know when she's like reading the you know using her mini computer which is good you just replace this one to her face which is uh, right here you just replace that and you would get you would get that image from her and of course we should not forget is her you know uh, facial uh, expressions which is the which is uh, three actually not five because Sermon has five and the like spare two with the five but for her she has only three one here uh, one the one you just saw it was as like just a simple smile and here is like her bottom mode faces that serious face of a uh, open mouth one here is just serious but closing mouth and the other one is like her you know cute smile right here and then there's two hands that she does like very girly poses right here you can see and here is one she's doing her one of her uh, how do you call this it's like her one of her uh, her powers that she do like on her poses one is here when she's like doing transformations and one here is like also girly poses like you know how we uh, how girls we pose and one here is like holding the laptop just place like that is and you see that she can hold the you know the laptop and this is all the accessories that she has and one final but not least is her base and her stand well I'm actually a bit disappointed about it because number one same pattern like from other figures that I see from the stores like the Kerry uh Kerry Kerr uh Blossom, Pretty Kerr uh, uh Marine, you know, like the creator who made uh Ojo Macho Dory Me, those uh uh pretty Kerr anime films. It's the same style and I I love the the details like the pattern of Sarah Mercury and it's blue, but why can they like can they just change it instead of like cards because it looks you know like I know it's like representing like the girl that they love but not always like same you know style and one more is the stand which I'm also a bit disappointed as well because according because from the figure that the stands I that I know they have this like holes to attach the figure but for this Bandai figure, they uh, they don't have, unlike the Figma figure, they have the hole to attach and they can do uh, epic poses. But I am not so sure why they have, they should have this. They should actually be like, have like the Figma thing because it's really hard to do this and I'm afraid it might break. So I'm trying to be very careful. Um, it seems like it's too, you know, not very steady enough based on how I can, you know, how I can feel by this thing. I'm, I really don't want to move it so much. And I actually agree with actor when he mentioned about the stand. Because when you face like this, the names is uh, upside down. So I prefer to remove one of these two holes. And so that way when I put the figure of Sarah Mercury on top right here, that we should be facing her and her name will be facing of course like this so I actually do agree with uh, actor for this part the most so in conclusion uh, I have no problem with this figure and I really love so much about her details the articulations no problem but it's just the, the stand and the base is the one bugs me the most and holding the laptop it's easy to fall off as well when I just tried it out it took me like almost five minutes just to you know make it stable and sorry for my you know crappy voice because you know it's so late so I should but not you know I should not be talking a lot but just overall you know having her is really a nice collection and if those of you wants to get uh, Sailor Mars, uh, Jupiter and Venus uh, which uh, which they have to be a bit later on, but uh, uh, Mars is going to come uh, this December as for Jupiter and Venus will be next year So if those of you 
they you, that you guys want to collect the whole Sailor Scouts, Sailor Moon, Mercury, uh, Jupiter, Mars, and Venus. That'd be great. And if you do, if you guys do that, then then that would be a, a great you know preview to every one of those uh, fans out there who are uh, you know who love Sailor Moon films a lot like me. Just to be honest again. And thanks for watching. And I hope to show you more uh, anime. Uh, uh, figures.